Howdy folks, Corky Duke here, and welcome to a Saturday night live stream event, Playboy Rules, 11.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And here we are. This is the this would be the seventieth mission. Seventieth mission of Playboy Rules. Wow. So we we'll take a look at the uh, crew first, and then the aircraft. Now, this is a different concept. A new concept for uh, bomber crew. Names of Playboy playmates for the crew. So let's meet them. So for our pilot, we got Captain Julie Lynn Killini. She was Miss February 1994 and Playmate of the Year for 95. Try to always have uh, Playboy playmates of the year as the pilots. Except for Hugh Hefner, he was a, a pilot for. Uh, uh, Playboy Mansion and then for the first 15 missions of uh, Playboy Rules. And uh, the engineer, top turret gunner is Master Sergeant Brooke, Brooke Richards. And both of those two have flown four missions now. Navigator is First Lieutenant Tiffany Taw. Brooke Richards was Miss December 1999. And Tiffany Taw. Uh, First Lieutenant Tiffany Toff was Miss September 2011. And our radio operator is Staff Sergeant Patricia Ford, who was voted Playboy's uh, launch, lingerie supermodel of the year for 1996. And she's flown 14 missions now. Our tail gunner is Kimberly Paul, who was a uh, uh, Miss Spain of July 1996, the Playboy Spain edition. Um, Drop that gorgeous uh, blonde. So she's flown uh, 14 missions too. I don't remember. Oh, wait, I did already. Okay. And Staff Sergeant Jamie Bergman is our Brawl turret gunner. She was uh, Miss January 1999. She's flown four missions. Our uh, Port Waste Gunner is a Staff Sergeant Amy Weber, who's flown four missions. Our Starboard Waste Gunner is a Staff Sergeant uh, Abigail O'Neill, and I couldn't find any information about uh, her or Amy Weber. So uh, I don't know if it's something wrong with Google or uh, what. Google's just not informed or what. Same thing with the uh, our bombardier, First Lieutenant Cassia Jones. So, she's flown four missions too. The part of a new crew that uh, got uh, replaced, uh, replaced seven of the girls that went home because they flew the 25 mission. So that was uh, last week. And now this is the uh, 70th mission. Playboy rules. That's what the next one. Here's the uh, bomber itself. The nose art. Engine. Tiger shark. Yeah. Three hundred fifth bombardment group, uh, which is the Eighth Air Force. Uh, so I don't know if you change the text. Anyway, if you're in the chat room, say something. I'll give you a shout out. But we're going to get started here in a little bit. 
What should I change it to? Girls Doom here. Do a old classic here. That's a classic. One I've had on several different Playboy apartments. So, so we'll bring it back. And uh, heading to the briefing, we might as well get going. Command Bunker Raid. Yeah. Alrighty. And we're going, ladies. The target for today is Southern Italy. We're going to knock out two Command Bunkers. Well, now come out with those Daisy rockets. Can you see them in the bottom? There they are. Slowly climb till we get to our ceiling. We have to drop these from high altitude. So, I think it's a few minutes to climb up there. There they are. Let's head down and deal with these fighters and we'll head back up. Take long at all. Okay. 
Are looking good so far. I think these guys are going to be. Well, maybe not. Not that they're going to be comets, but maybe not. Well, they might be. There's the target, so we're getting close. And now is probably a good time to call those fighters in because we'll have to drop down to medium altitude to take a photo opportunity and to reset a navigation To medium altitude, take that photo opportunity and then head for home. Yeah, so there it is. Black can't quite reach us. You know, just, those must be a tiny gap. They're German guys. German type is 88 mode. Deadly. Deadly. Oh, 
Adams Company. Designed to fool me, was it? Ah. There's no area that I have to clear from enemies. It's not in this mission. Oh, somebody's on board. Let's see who that is. Life of Skythe. What's my favorite area of history? Ah, uh, wow. I just like U.S. history in general. Um, I'd say World War II, uh, Civil War, and probably Revolutionary War. Uh, probably in that order. Um, my favorite areas. A lot of misconceptions about the Revolutionary War. So I was like trying to debunk those misconceptions. Uh, not so many about World War II because of how well it was uh, um, preserved as far as I mean, movies and uh, documentaries and uh, actual footage, pit real pictures, not drawings. So, but there's a misinformation of dishonest people. We do have misconceptions about World War II. But those are easily debunked with the mountains of uh, valid evidence that we have about what really World War II was really about. So, hey, welcome on board. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. What's your favorite part of history? We are close to home. That little blue dot there is me, and there's our base. So we still got, and we got fighters to get through. We shall dispose of them. Uh, better move her to the other side. Yep. Girls are shooting, shooting gunners. I gotta tell you. They are veterans, that's for sure. heading off base so I better drop down. Get a navigation point because I'm slightly off. And we're almost home anyway. Holy cow, we are way off. Let's stay medium up here. There we go. 
I don't know how we got so far off, but we did. Now we're back on track now. Now the area, this area, is generally south of this straight line between the base and Tunis, is filled with hills and mountains. So if you wind up in that area, if you're playing that game, playing this game, see that right there is the hill. So if you're playing this game and you wind up in that area, stay at medium altitude because if you drop down to low altitude, you will slam into that mountain. I guarantee you. And I've done it before. I don't know why. But if you drop down to low altitude in that area, it's you can draw a straight line from the base east all the way to Tunis. And if you're south of that line, uh, there's hills like that. And if you're flying at low altitude, your bomber will slam into those hills. I don't know why, but it just that's what it's what's happened to me before. Right there is base. Now we're safe. We can drop down to low altitude here because there's no hills. But if you go south of that straight line between the base and Tunis, you're gonna you're gonna smack right into a hill, and it's not gonna be pretty. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Oh, we got a few bullet holes. Look at that. In the tail section. Alrighty, coming in for a landing. Alrighty, that is the, wow, can't even imagine, the 70th mission of Playboy Rolls. Wow, like, mark everybody's mission up one by one now. It's five missions, five missions, five missions. 15 missions for Patricia Ford and Kimberly Paul. 15 missions. That means they only got to fly 10 more missions and then go home. Everybody else has got five missions. Alrighty. Excellent. And that's it. Oh. How about marking the bomber itself now for another mission? That would work. Okay. So that's 70 missions for Playboy Rules. Wow. Can't even imagine. Can't even imagine that. Being in a one bomber flying 70 missions. Let's find out something. Did any B-17 bombers during World War II fly 70 missions? B-17 bomb load. B-17 bombers were shot down at World War II. That's specifically That's that's not in total. Well, here's an interesting stat. Hell's Angels was there. I knew that. Hell's Angels was the first B-17 to complete 25 missions. Memphis Bell's crew completed 25 missions uh, four days later on May 17th. Okay. Did the B-17 have a toilet? No. <laughs> it, well, if you call a bucket with a seat cover a toilet. Yeah, but no, not not a toilet as we would recognize it, but yeah, a bucket with a seat cover. Anyway. Yeah, Google is something else, I gotta tell you. It used to be you had to go to a, a library to get the information. Anyway, I'm gonna get some more coffee, so I'll be right back.
All right, and we're ready for the 71st mission. Gosh. So Google was a little bit, let me try something else. Did any B-17s fly 70 missions during World War II? Here's some matching videos. Yeah, it's not saying anything about that. My guess is that none of them did. That would be my guess. Anyway. Five, yeah. Sicily Beach Defense. We'll go for that. Sicily Beach Defense. And we're off again. 71st mission for Playboy Rules. Yeah, it's probably very unlikely that any bombers uh, would fly that many missions. I would imagine they would just start to get worn down and uh, after that many missions and uh, you know, not trustworthy to fly missions at that point. But this is a game that's not historically accurate. So. All righty. Two sixty two right there. You can hear that thing. It was. Our girl, the girls made short work of it. And he's disengaged. He's disappeared. So anyway, well, I want to thank, uh, uh, was it Life of Ska for dropping in? Didn't stay long, but thanks for dropping in. Yeah, Scaith, Life of, what is it? Yeah, Life of Scaith, Ska, Scaith. That's got to be some kind of screw up with the game. That can't be accurate. Some kind of bug in the game or something. There's no reason for me to be heading back. So that's got to be some kind of bug in the game. I'm heading the right, exactly the right direction, the direction I should be heading. I bet you it's gone now. I think it is, because I don't see it. Yeah, it is gone. So I don't know what that is. Whoa.
plummeting towards Earth. Uh, not fun. Yeah, can we drop down? I think so. We can and should. A lot of clouds up here today. A lot of clouds. Well, if you're watching and in the chat room, uh, but you're not saying anything, you're just watching. Uh, this is the bomber called Playboy Rules, which is a new concept for bomber crew. Names of Playboy playmates with the crew members. Nobody else has a bomber like this in bomber crew, I guarantee you. You can search bomber, here, bomber crew to your heart's content, and you will not find Playboy playmates anywhere else on a bomber than what I provide. So. And we are almost to the target. We're going to fall in love with it. We're ready for recon. We keep our eye out for the fighters in the area. We'll tag them. We've got some coming up. We've got some coming up. And then off to our left and then up front. starboard side. Take this battleship out. Not gonna do it. Not on that angle. Not on an angle like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where did he go? Where did he go? There we go, we got a good angle on this one. 
beautiful. What? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be absolutely kidding me. Got one. That first time I should have hit it. I don't know what the hell happened. And we'll head for that photo opportunity. Target opportunity. Recon photo. It's also a target of opportunity because I have extra bombs and I can destroy it. picture of this thing and I totally lost my damn point. Yeah. Hate that when that happens. Hate losing my point if I happens. Particularly disturbing to lose the point of my fight with the turn of fighter. That's one of the wicked let out a few cuss words when it happens. With good reason though. I'm not sure if it's something that game designers can even fix either. That's the bad thing about it. All of a sudden it gets quiet. That puts us on a straight alignment with all. All right. Uh, course for home, as they say. I'm 
And it's time to call some fighters. It's about when we'll get attacked. By the time they get here, should time it out pretty good. Here comes our friendly fighter. A little friend. A Mustang. They will fly with us for a little while. Escorting us. Now, since we've been flying for quite some time with nothing happening, the co pilot, every so many minutes, would have gotten on the intercom and, uh, Hey, White Trouser, what's up? Welcome, man. How you doing? The co-pilot would have got on the intercom and warned everybody to squeeze their oxygen masks. Because what happens is, at that altitude, the, conden the condensation in their um, uh, breath would actually freeze up the mask and they have to reach up and keep squeezing it. And if they didn't get that done, they could die of anoxia. So... That's uh, something that the, that was kind of the co-pilot's job to do, was to uh, uh, warn everybody to check their mask and give it a good squeeze. Uh, the condensation in their breath would uh, freeze up the mask because we're they're at 30,000 feet. We're talking about uh, temperatures at about 60 degrees below zero. That's that makes uh, Antarctica look like a heat wave. That's cold. See, I kind of good. Our little fighters are here to help us. Our little friends are. What's up, man? How you doing? This is Playboy Rules 71st mission. Can you believe that? We are not letting these, well, it's too late. They're already getting away. Crap, I was going to try and shoot them down before they got away, but now yeah, they're already getting away. There it is, the runway. I'm doing okay, man. Glad you're doing good. Lost a couple of British bombers yesterday. Yesterday was another kind of June 6th. So, I got that, uh, the, my Queen of the Skies campaign started off with famous British actors until it got shot down. Then I replaced it with famous uh, female British actresses and lost two of them uh, yesterday in a mission and two bombers uh, pretty much both bombers crash landed so uh, you have any idea how to safely uh, land a, a Lancaster with only one set of landing gear should they belly slide because they're really lousy at belly sliding unlike uh, unlike the B-17 B-17 is good at belly sliding but the Lancaster can't belly slide for crap it uh, tries to belly slide and it just gets tore all apart
What's the best way to land uh, the 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 Lancaster with only one working landing gear? Is it better to belly slide or to try to uh, land it with the gear down and then raise the gear up as you're coming to a landing? Because I tried both of them yesterday's uh, attempts and uh, neither one of them seemed to work. You drop, okay, though. Oh, I did that. I had dropped the bombs. You're gonna belly slide. So, as you're coming in, uh, raise the one landing gear as soon as it hits the, hits the ground. To be honest, I tried both at uh, both uh, with the landing gear up, tried to belly slant, and then one with the landing gear, the working landing gear down. It was a poor, usually the Lancaster doesn't you lose its landing gear, not like the B 17 does. Okay. So, I just, I mean, very seldom does the Lancaster lose its landing gear. But when it does, it seems to be, so far for me, it's been a death sentence for the crew. And I gotta chalk everybody up for a mission. There's a 71st mission. Oh, okay, lean the fuel. See, I've never tried that. Lean the fuel before you touch down. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll try that. Lean the fuel out. So, that means that somebody's not going to be in the... Is the radio room considered the safe room in the Lancaster like it is the B-17 room? The B-17 crash room? Or is there no such thing on the Lancaster? Oh yeah, leaning out the fuel. That'll slow the bomber down a little bit too, I would imagine. Seventy-one missions flown for the Playboy rules. Ninety-one missions in this entire campaign. So, what target should I pick out next? I just did a Sicily Beach defense, which gave me uh, enemy damage down for the next few missions. Airfield complex recon, we can go for that. Looks like we'll have to. Because I've got the landing to B 17 on one landing gear down to one R. I mean, I really do. Uh, I haven't lost any. Last time I lost anybody landing a, a B-17 was uh, when I first started playing so back in July, January. And that was the Playboy uh, Bunnies bomber, where I lost seven crew members when it crash landed. Of course, I came down uh, with one landing gear extended and didn't realize that the bully slide was a better option.
tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. We got a recon uh, Pagia again. Oh man, did you get him healed? Or did you lose him? What well, about the ball turret gunner? He's right next to the sick bay and the bomber. I mean, that's a short trip right there. So sometimes the better thing to do is just get him into a sick bay and then. Once he's healed, he'll automatically go back to his post, which is handy because if you're in the middle of a firefight, you know, he gets healed and then he heads back to his post and boom, you're good to go. You don't have to mess with him. That's one thing if you got somebody, like, that. did you know, like if you, uh, let's say the navigator was standing here because he was healing, let's say he was healing the pilot and you send the navigator to sick bay before you send him to his post. When he's done at sick bay, he'll just stand there at sick bay. But if you, you send him to sick bay from his post, when he's done healing at sick bay, he'll go back to his post. I don't know if you knew that or not. But if he doesn't start out at his post, he won't go back to his post. He'll just stand at, uh, beside sick bay like he's waiting for orders. I definitely learned that about this game. Okay. Yeah, that's always a smart thing to do, especially you know, the time to do that is right after the wave of fi uh, fighters gets destroyed, and um, you got some time there to heal everybody up. That's why in the British campaign, I express 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 uh, uh, the in, uh, importance of uh, getting those ammo feeds, because then you don't have to waste your time ammoing them up. You can just send them right to sick bay. You don't have to first ammo them up and then send them to sick bay. That's why I always express uh, the importance of getting an ammo feed, even if it's a lower quality weapon, if it's a lower damage weapon, get the ammo feed on your four gun positions. And in that way, you don't have to worry about ammoing them up in the middle of a fight. And also, if your gunner gets uh, injured after the fight, you can just send them to sick bay instead of having to first send him for ammo. So I think that's really important there. Look at these girls, they're pros. Oh, we got more fighters coming. Where is that battleship? Whoa, come back, baby, come back. All right, where's our battleship at? I think that's coming up yet. Oh, man. That's the number four fire. All right, Brooke Richards, put it out. All right, there it is. There she be. Take a photo. Oh, we're lined up perfectly on this baby. Take a photo of it and then... Uh, He's sending a flag at me, little bugger. You'll pay for that. Look at 
that flag. Goodness sakes. Plane's looking in really good shape. No serious, no bullet holes. I don't even see any bullet holes. Of course, the girls are downing these fighters before they even get close to their bottom. It's great. We gotta get it. First Lieutenant Jones in her bombardier position. Fighters coming in. Look at those guns are blazing away. These girls are pros, I tell you. Look at that. Down they go. Down he goes. JU-88. Fighters coming up behind us. Yep. Well, he didn't last long. Just going down one, two, three. I'll tell you. Almost in the order they've been tagged. I think this is, yeah, we have to, we're going to have to drop down to mid altitude. Let's get down there quick. We're going to have to clear an area. Yeah, gotta clear this area of enemies. 
Never a smart thing to send a bomber to do that. Though. You want to send fighters to do that. Not a bomber. A bomber, dis despite the inaccuracies of this game, a bomber is not very effective at shooting down fighters. Fighters are. I could imagine the B-17's crew's reaction if they were told to go clear an area of enemy fighters. They'd probably laugh first, thinking it was a joke. <laughs> Uh, then if they realize that, oh my god, this is a serious order. Are you kidding me? You can't honestly be kidding me. You can't, you can't honestly be serious. Oh, man. You can imagine their outrage, outrage and horror after that. Gentlemen, you will be sent to fear an area of enemy fighter. What? Jamie Bergman got that one. Good shooting, Jamie. All right, now we can hit the hole. Yep. Okay, well, give me a navigation fix. Come on. Ah, oh, there's no sense of going to high altitude. By the time we get there, it'd be time to come back down again. We scrape the bottom, scrape the basement for fun. Yeah, why not? Face. See how quickly, <laughs> how quickly those three fighters went down. <laughs> oh man, these girls are pros. They don't mess around. These girls, I'm telling you. Oh, 
There it is. The runway. Final approach. Trying to get a long fuel. Got plenty of fuel left. Well, like, tell me it's low on fuel. I got eight minutes of fuel left. I just tagged the runway. I don't get it. Yeah, look at this. Not only that, but we're lined up in perfect uh, relation to the runway. As far as we don't have to fly you know, six miles around it just to get a good, just to get a good angle at it. Seventy second mission. Playboy rules. All right, buddy, I'll be right back. Got a coffee up. Alrighty. Okay. Almost unbelievable. 72 missions. All righty. Uh, what you got? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that had to be a scary sight, right? <laughs> So what do you think, Olvia? Husky? Dude, yeah. Or search and rescue, that's a little easy one. Enemy damage down, we'll have to go for Olvia, I think. I don't think the game designer designed for you to fly more than the uh, 25 missions that they put in the game. So that's why they don't have anything beyond it, you know? No more enemy aces, no more nothing. And you know, that's that makes sense. That's why I do different concepts, fly them 25 missions and then I send them home. So, did you see the Brady Bunch bomber got shot down, 12th mission? 
lost everybody. The whole Brady family is gone, thanks to me. And I'm telling you. <laughs> that's funny. I gotta admit, that's funny, man. Oh, 
Alrighty. Hey, did you see that uh, my uh, U.S. Marines 15th mission has over 500 views now? And it's just a little over two months old. I think it might be three months old now. That's definitely my most viewed video. Alrighty, bring them on. We are at our ceiling. So that means these guys probably won't even have the uh, ceiling to come up at us. We'll just fly around below our level circle while the ball car guns keep shooting at Which, of course, in reality wouldn't have happened because the ball car guns would have had that kind of ammo do that. They only had like a minute or two of ammo if they hit the trigger and didn't, didn't do burst. They'd only have like a minute or two of ammo. Each gun for that. I think that's something that could have been done in this game because then you would simply go to another gun position that still had ammo to uh, get more ammo. But the fact that the B-17 gunners had unlimited ammo is just ridiculous. There's just no way. I mean, the more and that would be the reason that there wouldn't have never been quad 50s on the B-17. You theoretically, you could have put a quad 50 on the gun position. But the problem is uh, the weight and the space needed for all the extra ammo for a quad 50 just wouldn't have been feasible. It was not possible. But it is cool having quad 50s on these things, I gotta tell you. We need to drop down. Take care of these fighters before they disengage. Alrighty. Knock these guys down, guys, girls. There is one. Buster disengaged. Should have gotten more of them. Oh well. These last couple of missions that I've been flying I haven't been leaning out the fuel at all. So that uh makes me to believe that uh, at least the game designers did one thing right because they would actually calculate how much fuel um, the bomber would need on a particular mission depending on their target. The farther the distance, more fuel, so less bombs. But uh, leaning out the fuel is just like a way of stretching out that um, that uh, fuel source, the fuel supply. But anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't hardly believe it. 500 views and just, I think it's just under three months.
Got any idea how many views it has to have before it's a, a regular uh, video staple in the Bomber Crew search on YouTube? Because uh, some of those, I mean, every time I go to a uh, Bomber Crew, I always see the same videos and they've got, you know, two, three thousand views on them. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to find that out. Hopefully 500 is the limit. But now I'd imagine uh, there would probably be other videos on there. I've, I've probably got to get it into the thousands. So so i still got more work to do. So, but I'm halfway to 1,000. So I guess I can look at it that way. I think the next most popular video is uh, my mission number one of the Three Stooges. It's got over 200. I think it's got like 220 views. Well, wow. let's go for the seek and destroy enemy battleship. What's that search? Search Al Goran? I'm not sure I understand that. Ah. Uh. We'll send him out on a milk run. Let's go. I usually don't use that button. It's something you have to... Wow. Okay, that's why I don't use it. <laughs> I, I see a lot of people using it and I just don't bother, I guess. Excuse me. died before I got it. Unbelievable. I'm freaking believable. Thought about mid up to make more effective use of our bomb right now. Oh. Try and get off of that lightning. I read a story about a B-17 pilot. I can't remember what his name was. 
and he flew 25 missions in a B-17. And then he uh, transferred to the fighter group because he thought so that so that's where the action was, and he thought he'd be safer. And uh, it was uh, late 44, and he was in a dogfight and following a German fighter down to the ground, basically. And he got fixated on his target, and he wound up crashing and getting killed. Well, it's something you can't do. And I know this from playing combat flight simulator. You can't get fixated on your target. You've got to be aware of your surrounding. And that's exactly what he did. He got fixated and he crashed right to the ground. Can't remember what his name was, but sad story. He thought he'd be safer as a fighter pilot rather than a bomber pilot. Hell, he should have went home after his 25 missions. There it is. Easy milk run. Good job, girls. There we go, finally. Finally making the turn into the final approach. That is, wow, 74th mission for Playboy Rules. And that is the ninth mission for every crew member except for two of them. And this, that was their 19th mission. So Patricia Ford and Kimberly Paul only have to fly six more missions and they get sent home. So that'll happen next week, more than likely. That's been four or five missions today. I think I might want to call it quits. Yeah, it's already been an hour and a half. So, should I fly one more? Maybe one more. Yeah, maybe even five, I think. Can't do a complex recon. Breaking up. Operation Husky. Let's do that, and then we'll call it quits. I'm going to do one more, and then call it quits. We do Operation Husky.
And we're off and flying. Blew up with a big explosion. Blew up bits of his aircraft falling all over the air. Tune us ahead. Alrighty, here we go.
Alrighty. Clear the area of enemies. Ridiculous order for a bomber. But that's the game. We gotta play within the game. What if we can stay at mid altitude? Would that be good? Do I have to drop down off to the low level all the time? We've got our friendly fighters here. They're helping. Why were you guys not shooting it? I was thinking there was something else we have to do, but that's another mission. So it will give me the navigation fix for home, please. There we go. And we will head there. Still with me, white trouser? You've been quiet. There's no photo opportunity in this mission. Mm -hmm. 
I think one of my research bombers, what I'm going to do is research and explore the area. If you draw a line from the base to Tunis, south of this area is all a bunch of hills. Because there's been several missions where I've gotten all shot up with a bomber and wound up in that area. And if you don't... Whoa. If you don't watch where you're going, you will slam right into a hill. And for some reason, flying at low altitude, the, they don't account for the hills. They just slam right into them. I don't know why, but if you're ever in that area because you got distracted and, 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 it, and it's, it's almost a straight line from the base to Tunis. And if you're south of that area, there's a bunch of hills. And if you're flying at low altitude, you will slam into those hills. The pilot won't adjust for it. You've got to watch out for them and then move, uh, uh, adjust your altitude to me medium altitude to avoid slamming into those hills. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to fly a mission with my research bomber and check that out. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that or not. Did you know that? Because there has been a couple of times. These have all been uh, missions that I haven't recorded. Because I still fly missions that I don't record. I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll show you the research bomber that I'm talking about. And whenever I got a question about something, I, I send the research bomber on it to try and find out. Like I'm also going to mess around with the fuel, um, uh, leaning the fuel out. Do you really? Does it really have to stay at that station for the fuel to be leaned out? <clears throat> Do you know that for a fact? See, there's no recon photo in that in that mission, or I missed it if there was. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta, I gotta chalk up a mission for everybody and the bomber. All right, that's a seventy-five missions for Playboy rules. Ten missions for all, but except two of the girls, and that's their twentieth mission. All righty. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Oops. Oh, is it uh, that they have to stay at that station in order to get? Well, see, I want to test that and see if that's really true. Because it seems like it is. Anyway, let me show you my research power. Right here it is. Research number ten. See, 132 missions, 2,599 fighters destroyed, 124,899 miles flown, 239 targets destroyed, 9 bombers lost, 37 crew lost, 
uh, $741,955 spent, 162 recount photos taken, and 66 crew members rescued. So, that's, uh, and, uh, let's see. What I was thinking about doing was, uh, right, right, right there it is. I mentioned I've seen this. Hmm. You know what? What do you say we go? We uh, take this, check this out. I think we're going to do that. We're going to check out. We'll see about the. Uh, uh. All righty. I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, I might as well. Look, this is my research bomber. So. So we'll bomb Tunis first, and then I'll head off to the southern area. And I'll just stay at low altitude for right now. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. start leaning out the fuel because we're gonna see look at that hill right there see now 48 47 minutes Move them. 30. Well, it does look like it, doesn't it? Like he's got to stay there. Doesn't go back either, does it? Because it was at what, 47 minutes? And then now it just dropped down to 23. Sure seems like he's got to stay there, doesn't it? That sucks. Well, let's see, another lead. Forty-four. Yeah, look at that. I guess he does have to stay at that. Sure seems like it. Yeah, I think you might be right. Should I take a photo of the Graf Zeppelin or not? I'm thinking of just ignoring it. I know you can't destroy the Graf Zeppelin. The game won't let you. Check that area out. We're already at low altitude. So we just got to be on the lookout for hills. So we just got to be on the lookout because you will crash into these hills, I'm telling you right now. Half the fuel remaining. Oh yeah, look at 
this. We're heading deep into uh, southern Africa here. We just got to keep an eye out for those hills. Board to mission. So that way it doesn't send me back to recon that. Uh, yeah. Where are we at here? So let's make a right hand turn. There's no hills in this area, but I'm telling you. Yeah, this is good. We're heading straight straight along this line, we'll work up the run into some hills. We're gonna go deeper. And deeper into the southern reaches of Africa. I'm not seeing any hills now, but I'm telling you, they're more in this area here. Where they are is uh, like in this area here, so we're definitely coming up on it. Yeah, see, look at that. See that hill right there? Notice how it's not getting, it's not climbing. You have to actually climb, otherwise you will fly right smack into that hill. That may be the very hill that I flew into before. Look, I mean, look at it. Ooh, mercy. So if you ever find yourself in that area, south of that direct line from base to Tunis, stay at medium altitude just to avoid the seals. Because you can avoid them at medium altitude. If you're at low altitude, you'll fly right into them. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, mercy. Yeah, I knew that was there. And we're almost home now. So I'll just fly down. I'm not going to fly the bomber into the hill, but I'm telling you it will. Oh. Yeah, there they are. So they're about in this area right here. Which is basically southeast of the base. There's another one right there. Is that the same one? That's a different one. Whoa, whoa. See, look at that one. There's another one there. Yeah. All right, let's make a left turn here. Try and skirt around this hill here. And then with the clouds, that gets a little scary. That gets a little hairy because you can't really see the hills with those clouds in the way. Hehe. <laughs> Oh man, see, look at that big hill right there. You're flying at low altitude, and that's straight south of the base, too. Look at that. Yeah, I'm 
Okay, man, have a good one. You take care, buddy. We'll see you next time. We're going to land this research bomber. Four minutes. Wow. I wonder what happened if. It's not letting me tag these custom markers. What's up? I was gonna go see if I if I headed out to that area if any more uh, fighters would come up at me. Stop letting me tag any of those. I'm just goofing around at this point. It's not letting me do any custom tags. Huh. Did I tag the, the runway or what? Trippy. Oh man, gotta watch it. There's hills here. You can run in these hills too. Thirty nine minutes of fuel left. <laughs> I can goof around quite quite a lot, but they won't let me uh, tag that runway or tag that custom marker. Oh, well, might as well man. What the heck? It won't let me tag those custom markers. You have a good one, White Trouser. We'll see you next time. Now, this is something I don't normally do. I don't normally jump to another bomber when I'm doing the live stream. I just wanted to see something. This is my research bomber number 10. Total stats for this bomber. Are as follows. <laughs> Uh, okay. We'll head back to Playboy Rules. Still not finished with the nose art on this one yet. I can show, might as well show the crew. And I do got. I just got a little bit of nose art left to complete in it. And I probably won't run this mission next, but it will be in the future. Probably next couple of weeks or two. Week or two. Um, tail art is uh, that's there anywhere. And here's the crew. I wanted to so badly put John Tuttle in here, but I didn't. So I got Sherman Potter as a pilot. BJ Honeycutt as an engineer, top turret gunner. Benjamin Franklin Pierce, or Hawkeye, as a navigator. And Radar O'Reilly, of course, as a radio operator, of course. And Max Klinger, 
as the tail gunner. Of course, he's not wearing a dress. And Charles Emerson Winchester is the ball turret gunner. I don't know how we get his big fat butt in there, but anyway. Frank Burns, left waist gunner. And Hot Absulahan as the right waist gunner. And then Henry Blake is a bombardier. That'll be the new MASH bomber uh, when I start. Probably won't be for another couple of weeks. But uh, that's one of the new missions I got coming up. The new concepts I got. So hopefully, lately the uh, TV show bombers have not been doing very good. I lost the Gilligan's Island bomber and the Brady Bunch bomber. So hopefully this will turn things around. So, and that's Playboy Rules. Hopefully. I don't want to lose the MASH bomber. Anyway, so that was uh, Playboy Rules 75th mission. Yep. All right, 1863 enemy fighters destroyed. Hey, that was a good year. Turned things around during the Civil War for the North. Nine, 93,796 miles flown, 185 targets destroyed, two bombers lost. The Playboy Bunnies and Playboy Mansion both crashed on their 10th mission. Seven crew members lost. $273,970 spent, 115 recon photos taken, and 41 crew members rescued. And that'll do it uh, for Saturday night's live stream of Playboy Rules. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Corky Duke is my name. CorkyDuke.com is my website. Like, comment, share my videos.